Hello, my name is Madison Rostro and I'm a farmhouse intern. Um, today we're actually going to make palmanders, Victorian palmanders. And they were, um, they derived in the Middle Ages because of the Black Death and they actually had them around because they thought it um, drove away the, the bad smell. And then they were used in the Victorian era more as a Christmas decoration because they smelled nice and they also looked pretty. So here I have a few examples right now. Here's one of the lemon with the cloves in it and then here's one of an orange with cloves in it. And this is a very um, easy thing to do at home. Um, you just need a few cloves, um, some type of citrus fruit, a lemon or an orange. And then I would prefer like a toothpick um, to poke the cloves in because they could kind of hurt your finger a little bit. Um, so I'll show an example of how to do one. So I'm just going to take a lemon here and then take the toothpick and then I'm just going to poke in, um, poke in the toothpick a few times like so. And then take a clove and then you just put it in like so. And then you would do this all throughout the, the fruit. Oops, I broke my toothpick. Use the other side. There we go. And then again, you would just keep going all throughout the fruit. Like that. And then again, you would end up with something like this. Um, and then again, you could do it with the orange as well. And so that is how you make a Victorian palmander. And I did forget to mention, but if you wanted to preserve these and make them last longer, you can get some orris root, or you could also use some cinnamon, um, some ground cinnamon, and just sprinkle them all over the fruit. That way it preserves them and so you don't have bugs and they'll last longer as well.